Should we get more squash? For Taylor and Jordan Miller, it's a way to enjoy the outdoors. Love the weather, <laughs> even though it's hot. <laughs> While rocking to the beat. I love the music. Are you guys local? And buying local. Thank, Thank you. you. It's the feel of the farmer's market. Beats sitting on your sofa, <laughs> getting out and doing stuff and getting involved. It's healthier, the organic grown stuff, and um, it, I think it definitely tastes better. And it's growing in popularity. According to our partners at Scripps Howard News Service, the number of farmers markets have close to doubled in five years, with more than 7,000 markets nationwide. There are eight here in Tulsa County. But when it comes to how safe the food is... I haven't thought about it, but something to think about. Many of us don't think about it. Locally, the Tulsa County Health Department inspects farmers markets once a year. So we poured over inspection reports of four major markets in Tulsa for the past two years. Cherry Street, the Downtown Market, the Brookside Market, and the Pearl Farmers Market. Meanwhile, we looked over national data, too. And in those reports from other states, we did find some concerns. In fact, national reports found cantaloupes tainted with listeria sold at outlets, including farmers markets. They killed at least 30 people and sickened 46 others in 28 states. It's reasons like that that local health inspectors are out in Tulsa County. Make sure the produce is up off the ground. Uh, we like overhead protection. We want to make sure that the produce comes from Oklahoma and that they're not selling any produce that is um, not sound condition. Thank you very much. And when it comes to items in containers... We do allow the people that um, have jams and salsa to sample. They have to set up a temporary hand washing station so that they can keep their hands clean and um, you know, not contaminate the food. And inspectors also make sure the ingredients are listed on the products. It's all part of ensuring farmers are following the regulations. Just to educate the people that are growing our food, and um, make sure that they understand that um, there are a lot of ways that you can make people sick. That paired with a good working relationship with the market managers. They'll give me a call if they come up with a great idea and we just kind of talk our way through it and we just really avoid a lot of issues that um, other people might come across when they're dealing with farmers markets. It seems to be working. Local inspection reports show no violations at any of the Tulsa area markets over the past couple of years. Get these ones. And as for Jordan and Taylor, they feel what they get at the farmer's market is actually safer than the grocery store. They care about their food more. It's their job. It's what they do. And it says organic, and I feel safe about that. As long as it looks like clean enough to buy, and if it says organic, I typically believe them. So after a little music, sunshine, there you go. Thank you. and a few purchases, these ladies are ready to enjoy their homegrown produce. Marla Carter, 2 News Works for you.